Viral hepatitis is a major cause of liver cirrhosis and liver cancer, and is a leading infectious cause of death, still viral hepatitis remains virtually unknown to the general public, at-risk populations and policymakers, even healthcare providers lack knowledge and awareness about these infections. As a consequence, most of the people living with viral hepatitis do not know that they are infected, placing them at greater risk for severe, even fatal, complications from the disease and increasing the likelihood that they will spread the virus to others. An epidemic is the rapid spread of disease to a large number of people in a given population within a short period of time. Examples of some of the epidemic are Black Death due to bubonic plague, Spanish flu due to influenza A H1N1, HIV AIDS pandemic, and currently ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Do you know that viral hepatitis is a silent epidemic in the world and size of the global epidemic is at least 10 times the epidemic of HIV AIDS? This video provides patient education about what is viral hepatitis. What are its types? If you are at risk of viral hepatitis? How viral hepatitis is transmitted? How you can prevent each types of viral hepatitis? And, what are the treatment options? Before moving to further information, if you feel information provided in this video is helpful, please hit the like button, please share this video with your friends and subscribe this channel. With that being said let's start. What is Viral Hepatitis? Viral Hepatitis is inflammation of the liver caused by a virus. There are five major different hepatitis viruses, Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C, Hepatitis D and Hepatitis E. Are you at risk for viral hepatitis? Anyone could be at risk of hepatitis due to, as I already said, the size of the global epidemic which is at least 10 times the HIV AIDS epidemic. With better information and knowledge about hepatitis risks, people can prevent themselves from getting infected and passing the infection on to others. To do this, people should seek testing and learn if they need treatment. Increasing access to hepatitis testing is key to scaling up hepatitis treatment and care. Hepatitis A Transmission, Hepatitis A is spread mainly through eating food or drinking water that has been contaminated by the feces of an infected person. It can also be spread by eating raw shellfish that have come from water contaminated by sewage. Prevention There is a vaccination for Hepatitis A. Treatment within a few weeks of exposure to the virus can also bring short-term immunity. You can reduce the risk of exposure by practicing good hygiene and sanitation, and avoiding drinking water that has come from a potentially unsafe source. Treatment There is no specific treatment for Hepatitis A. Recovery from symptoms following infection may be slow and may take several weeks or months. Most important is the avoidance of unnecessary medications. However, Hepatitis A infections can sometimes cause further complications. Hepatitis B Transmission Hepatitis B is transmitted through contact with the blood or other body fluids, for example, saliva, semen, and vaginal fluid, of an infected person. It can be passed on from mother to child during childbirth. Prevention There is a vaccination that can prevent infection. If you have not been vaccinated, to reduce chances of exposure it is best to use condoms, and to avoid sharing needles or items such as toothbrushes, razors, or nail scissors with an infected person. It is also wise to avoid getting tattoos or body piercings from unlicensed facilities. Treatment A variety of antiviral drugs are available which, slow the replication of the virus, and occasionally result in its clearance. Children born to mothers infected with Hepatitis B should also be vaccinated within 12 hours of birth, as this can prevent an infection that will most likely progress to chronic Hepatitis B. Hepatitis C Transmission Hepatitis C is mainly spread through blood-to-blood -blood contact. In rare cases it can be transmitted through certain sexual practices and during childbirth. Prevention There is no vaccination for Hepatitis C. It is therefore necessary to reduce risk of exposure, by use condoms, avoiding sharing needles and other items such as toothbrushes, razors, or nail scissors with an infected person. It is also wise to avoid getting tattoos or body piercings from unlicensed facilities. Treatment 
treatment for chronic hepatitis C aims to eradicate the virus. It often involves a combination of pegylated interferon and ribavirin, and there is increasing use of potent direct-acting antiviral drugs, with and without interferon. People with different genotypes respond differently to treatment, some more successfully than others. Hepatitis D Transmission Hepatitis D is spread through contact with infected blood. Prevention Hepatitis D is only found in people who are already infected with the hepatitis B virus. People not already infected with hepatitis B, should get the hepatitis B vaccination. To reduce exposure, avoid sharing needles and other items such as toothbrushes, razors, or nail scissors with an infected person. It is also wise to avoid getting tattoos or body piercings from unlicensed facilities. Treatment Conditions may improve with administration of an interferon, however no effective antiviral therapy is currently available for hepatitis D. Hepatitis E Transmission Hepatitis E is mainly transmitted through eating food or drinking water that has been contaminated by the feces of an infected person. It can also be spread by eating raw shellfish that have come from water contaminated by sewage. Prevention Currently there is a vaccine to prevent hepatitis E but it is not widely available. You can reduce the risk of exposure by practicing good hygiene and sanitation, and avoiding drinking water that has come from a potentially unsafe source. Treatment There is no treatment for hepatitis E. However it is usually self-limiting. Thank you for watching this video. If you still not subscribed my channel, please subscribe for more such videos. If you have any comments or questions, please write in comments section. Please share this video with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button.